Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. Uh, two Pinot Noirs today uh, from the Americas. Uh, we've got one from North America, uh, but we're starting in South America. And so this is Estevez, uh, Chilean Pinot Noir from the Central Valley, uh, 2016 vintage. Let's give it a whirl. Young, fresh, easy, toasty berry, um, ever so slightly jammy, touch of the medicinal, um, not massive in colour, and um, yeah, regular cheap Pinot. Fruit-wise, it's okay. Um, maybe if I'm slightly disappointed by it, uh, I'm see, going to see what it says on the back. Um, there's a characteristic there, almost as if they thought, right, we, um, we've, got, we've made a, a young wine, we need to give it a, a little touch of oak. There's something there is it, uh, that says to me that they've used oak, um, but not barrels. Um, so is, I don't know whether they've got oak chips or um, oak staves, but there's, there's something there that is adding a, an oaky flavour, but not the flavours that you would get from ageing in a, a wine in barrel. So it's got this, to this smoky, toasty character, but not the soften softening uh, edge that a barrel would have given. It's okay, and I don't think it's vastly expensive, but it's not it's not fine wine right let's see if um parker station pinot noir vintage 2015 is fine wine um uh, monterey county san luis obispo and santa barbara county a nice strap line the best pinot noir you can afford to drink daily well let's see whether it is and immediately it's juicier, richer, rounder. It's not all that much different in, in colour, but there is more wine here. Alcohol-wise, um, 13 and a half on the Chilean and um, covered up by a helpful... Oh, 13.8, which would qualify as 13 and a half on the, um, on the Parker Station. But it feels like it's, um, it's got more depth flavour and it's going to be a juicier, more appealing and satisfying drink. Nice herbal edges to this quite voluptuous cherry, red berry. Um, and um, yeah, there's this fresh edge and um, there's this slightly floral edge and um, yeah, enough going on in there to uh, keep you coming back for another sip and one of the wines where I almost think I, I, I probably should need to taste it and pour myself out a bigger slug and give it a sniff, more of a sniff, because um, uh, good Pinot Noir uh, rewards rewards um, coming back and sniffing and sniffing because um, uh, it evolves in the glass and um, different nuances come out each time. As it is at the moment, just released from its screw cap, it's sort of going, yeah, here I am, and uh, come and get me. And um, so it, it has got its come hither charms, but I've got also also got a feeling that, uh, uh, given the chance to calm down, uh, there's a slightly more cerebral side uh, for those who have the patience. But um, I will understand when it tastes like this straight out of the traps uh, if you don't have the patience. But nice wine, Estevez, hey. but uh, Park Station, two th no, maybe not two thumbs, but a thumb and a half right up. See you soon.